option of getting a facelift without going under the knife? A Houston Institute says it's unbottling the secret, and Eyewitness News anchor Ilona Carson shows us this facelift in a jar. Angelina, Natalie, Beyonce, and Lindsay. Being young has never been so hot. So how can we all roll back the hands and wrinkles of time? Introducing facelift in a jar. It tones and tightens the muscles, which cause your face to, to get a nice lift. Dana Laconi of the Institute of Anti-Aging says the cream contains high levels of ingredients you won't find at the cosmetics counter. DMAE, which helps tighten the skin, vitamin C, which we're delivering at high levels, and alpha lipoic acid, which is an antioxidant, and our patients love it. The cream is kept in the refrigerator and applied like a moisturizer once or twice a day. Where does the facelift in a jar come from? Just across town at the Village Compounding Pharmacy, where for four years, Dr. Phil Pilant has been perfecting the potion. This is the DMAE. Dr. Pilant hand mixes the ingredients and then sends the fresh batch through an ointment mill. By compounding it in small amounts and keeping it refrigerated, you can keep it keep the potency 100%. So is there a catch? Well, sort of. Right now you need a doctor's prescription for the facelift in a jar and it costs about $80 an ounce, but people who use it say it's worth it. 41-year-old Wendy Child says she's tried every product on the market. This is the first thing I've ever tried that in a week I can see the difference in the texture, the lines, like these lines down here seem a little better. Wendy's only been using the product for three weeks. With no makeup on, this believer says, decide for yourself, she already has. I would call it a facelift in a jar. It won't make you a celebrity, but the makers of facelift in a jar claim it will give you famously beautiful skin. And there's also a men's version of the facelift in a jar. It doesn't contain that touch of estrogen that the women's version has, Gina. And Elona, you said you need a prescription for this cream, huh? Yes, you do. And if your doctor does think it's a good idea for you, then that doctor can contact the Village Pharmacy or the Anti-Aging Institute of Houston to purchase it or to get more information on the ingredients that are inside. Reporting live in the newsroom, Elona Carson, 13 Eyewitness News. After 28 years, Star Wars fans are finally going to learn how Anakin Skywalker turned into the evil Darth Vader. They are already waiting in lines at theaters all across the country and at least 60 theaters around Houston. The Empire is hoping to strike big bucks as tonight fans are embracing the dark side of obsession with Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Eyewitness News reporter Darren Lynn found plenty of them. He is live in southwest Houston among the uh, fans there I see behind you, Darren. Yes, Gina, <laughs> Star Wars junkies. Edward Cinema is actually letting folks into the theaters early so you won't see the long lines. But we have a long line of these Star Wars characters here. And trust me, as you take a look at them, they are excited. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, is now at a theater near you. And Star Wars fans here in Houston are playing the part. I chose Darth Vader because I saw this mask in Target for $24, and so I bought it. Can you give us a Darth Vader impression? You don't know the power of the dark side. I feel so helpless. Is it just...